So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a signature like this or like this in Photoshop. Um, and I like this tutorial because you don't need to download anything like um, any brushes or you know any other resources. All you have to do is maybe download is well you have to have a render, and maybe you'll want to download the font I'm using. Um, so and each result is kind of different. So what I'm going to be using this Assassin's Creed render. Um, so go ahead and open up a new image. And this is in Photoshop, I'm sorry. I'll try my best to convert it into a GIMP tutorial, but there are a few filters I use that I know that GIMP doesn't have, but I'll try my best. And, um, so my, uh, the size of my image is 400 by 150, which is a pretty good signature size. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to open up my render. Um, so I'm going to go to File, Place, and I'm going to open up my render. And uh, going to File, Place will open it up in my actual image. Um, but as you can tell, it scales it down. So I'm going to just scale that back up. Okay, so once I'm going to put my render in the center, but you can place your render wherever you like. Um, by the way, when it comes to choosing renders for this tutorial, I'd recommend choosing a render that kind of has this brown or kind of red tone to it. Um, I would, de would definitely not choose any render that has, you know, like blue colors, like uh, let's say this picture right here. That would not be good because it has blue as a main color. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer by pressing Control or Command J. Or you can go to, um, you can right click on the layer and select Duplicate Layer. Uh, but I just find pressing Control or Command J is easier. Now I'm going to go ahead and hide the bottom layer um, by pressing the little eye icon next to it. And I'm going to move the duplicated layer over a little. I'm just going to move it to the side. Now what we're going to be doing is filling up the whole canvas space with um, duplicated layers of this render. Now we're going to be moving them around so we get uh, a variety of color. So I'm going to press Command or Control J again, duplicate the layer again, and move it over. And duplicate the layer again, move it over, and just keep, I don't like where I place that, um, but just keep placing your render um, in places until you get, um, until you cover the whole space. And make sure you get a nice variety of color. Um, it might look kind of repetitive out of, after a while, but we'll apply some filters to it so it won't be quite as repetitive. So once you've duplicated all your layers and placed them onto your canvas space so that they, it covers up the whole thing, um, you're going to obviously have a lot of layers in your layers window. So I'm going to merge all these together. So make sure you select the top one and then press shift and then click the bottom one. Um, but make sure you don't um, merge together your one that's at the very bottom that you hid earlier because we're going to use that later. Just right click on that and then select merge layers. And now I'm going to duplicate that merge layer uh, six times um, so that, um, because we're going to be applying different filters to those layers. So just press Ctrl or Command J and duplicate that six times. And now go ahead and hide all the layers until you get to the very uh, bottom one. So I'm going to be on this very bottom layer. And go to Filter, Brush Strokes, Spatter. And I'm going to go with a spray radius of 12 and a smoothness of 4. Then select OK. Should look like this. And it's kind of rough right now, so I'm going to apply a, a blur. So go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I'm going to go with a radius of 1. Then go to the layer above that and go to, and unhide it by pressing the eye icon and go to filter, distort, ocean ripple. And I'm going to go with a ripple size of 6 and a ripple magnitude of 6. Then set this layer mode on to lighten. Then go to the layer above that, unhide it, and go to filter, brush strokes, sprayed strokes. I'm going to go with a stroke length of 11 and a spray radius of 10. Um, and for stroke direction, I'm going with right diagonal, but you might want to change that depending on what you think looks best and helps your signature flow. And set that layer mode onto lighten again. 
and again go to your next layer unhide it and you want to go to filter blur motion blur and I'm going to go with an angle of 85 and a distance of 70 but um, I recommend choosing your own angle in whatever way you think looks best and creates the most flow for your signature then go to image adjustments brightness and contrast I'm just going to be, um, I don't, I didn't think this had too much cr contrast because when I change the layer mode, it doesn't make much of a difference. So I'm just going to turn up the contrast a little. Now you might want to adjust this for whatever image you're using. This is just what I think works best with my render. And I'm going to turn up the brightness to around 20. And then I'm going to change the layer mode onto lighten again. And of course you, you might need to adjust uh, these settings around a little because uh, the fact that you might be using a different render than me will definitely affect the overall look of it. Move on to the next layer and go to Filter, Distort, Ripple. I'm going to go with an amount of 120 and a size of medium. And as you probably know by now, set that layer mode onto Lighten. Go to the next layer above that and go to Filter, Distort, Wave. I'm going to go with a, uh, for number of generators, I went with two, and everything else on is on the default. And set that on to lighten again. Now go to the very top layer, and actually don't do anything to that layer yet, but I'm going to go down to my original render layer that I placed in the middle, unhide that and bring that up. Um, don't bring it up all the way to the top though, just bring it up. Um, so that is under one the so that's under the layer that you have not um, applied a filter to so it's only going to have one layer above it then unhide the layer above that and go to filter brush strokes angled strokes I went with a direction balance of 36 stroke length 10 sharpness 0 I'm going to lower the opacity of this layer a little to around 80. And I'm going to take my eraser tool, grab a fuzzy brush, and um, I'm going to erase. Oh, that's my paintbrush tool. Grab your eraser tool, choose a fuzzy brush, and I'm going to erase um, a few areas that I think need to be erased. You might want to turn down the opacity a little. Um, I'm turning down the opacity of my brush at the top here and I turned down the flow to around 89. Um, I'm just going to kind of erase a few spots. 